Why hello internet and welcome to Grav, a new game in the alpha network of games that is on Steam and I thought I'd give it a shot and explain to you guys a bit of the standard gameplay elements that are in the game because there's been a little bit of a learning curve when you start playing the game and I thought I'd walk you guys through it. So this is what the world looks like in the moment and uh, the game is very poorly optimized at the moment so it uh, sucks your frame rate out like nothing else. So I'm going to tone down on the graphics but I thought I'd just give you a look at what the game looks like on full graphics. Okay so I'm running it all on minimum now and uh, this is my little base. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of all the normal gameplay elements so you just spawned and you don't know what you're doing and I'm here to walk you through it. So the basic gameplay is that you go and gather resources so that you can upgrade your stuff and your weapons and upgrade yourself so you can fight, survive and build a base and all that good stuff. Very much like uh, Rust or Unturned or any of those kinds of games that are just open world survival games. It's kind of very reminiscent of World of Warcraft as well because there's a lot of kind of random mobs around uh, that you can go and kill and it's all level based so each area um, has a level. So I'm in the level 1 area at the moment. Um, and then as you walk around, it'll tell you when you enter, like, levels between, say, 4 and 10 or something like that, and harder enemies, but greater resources and all that kind of stuff. So when you first spawn, you'll have a knife and a multi-tool, and they're accessed down in the bottom hotbar. Number one is your knife, and number two is your multi-tool, and they're very important things that you need to survive. So what you want to do is go around with your knife and kill things. So this is a level one enemy. And um, the best technique I've found is just to hit it and run around in circles, because it'll try and attack you, like it does there. And um, if you're quick enough, you can just dodge the attacks. So every time you kill something, they'll drop a whole bunch of stuff. And every now and again, it'll drop you a special item. So it'll usually drop you some health or some like uh, an individual pickup that uh, that kind of enemy has. But every now and again, it'll drop you something like blueprints, which is very important later on. So there are four main resources in the world. So there's gems, and there's wood, and there's fossils, and there's ore. So this is a gem. And the way that you harvest your resources is you grab out your multi-tool, which is the number two key, and you just left click, and it'll harvest the gems. They're usually about the same size. So I think it's about 20 odd resources per gem and it sometimes drops a special item after you've gathered the resources. Um, each world seems to be very different by the way so depending on what world you have and I think it's random every time uh, it depends on what resources are around so mine is a very tree filled world which is kind of annoying because there's not much else so this is what the fossil looks like. It looks like a whole bunch of bones in like a little spire thing. And again, once you gather that, it might drop a little special item like a chunk of fossil or something like that. But I'll explain what they do later. So this is what ore looks like. And again, just left click to harvest. And that will drop things like ore bars as special items and a couple of other different things. You might also stumble across this, the element X. And that's used as currency during the game. And you do need a harvester, and that's something you can only build by getting the blueprint for it. And there's a couple of ways to get blueprints, which is killing enemies, or harvesting materials, or you can find them in like random loot chests that you find throughout the world. So another place to find resources is in caves, and they're much more likely to spawn gems and fossils and ore. And the best way to find caves is they have a big gold glowing entrance and it's easier to find them in the night because it's so dark around. So I found one over here, and it's in a higher level area than I actually am, so it's a bit dangerous, but I'll show you inside. So here's the inside of the cave, and there's some very high level dudes over there, so I'm not really gonna go near them. But if you got some loot at the entrance, you got a couple of gems there, or some fossils, then take them, why not? So now that you've collected a shitload of resources, you probably wanna build some shit. So in order to build stuff, you need to press B, and it brings up your build menu. So in rooms, it's basically all your fortress stuff, if you want to build yourself a fort. In the crafting menu, it gives you an armory, a factory, and a science station. In placed items, it gives you stuff that you can just chuck down, and uh, like your uplink, which is a spawn point, and campfire, so things that aren't used for crafting. And powered stuff, which I haven't come in contact with yet. So as you see down here in the bottom right, it tells you how much each thing costs. So it's for this uh, armory, it's 30 fossils and 30 wood and this is how many I've got and it says all of your resources up here if you want to see the total. And when you decided you want to build something you just need to move around to place your item and if you hold down the middle mouse button and that means you can rotate as you're doing it so that you can place it with better precision and then when you've picked a spot you just press the build down here in the bottom right hand corner and it'll chuck it down for you. So these are the basic machinery and I'll just slowly go through them one by one. So this is a farm, basically if you add wood to the farm It'll grow plants for you, which you can take food out of, so it's got 86 food left. And I just take food out, which means that 
it fills up my food bar there in the bottom left and I can regenerate health over time. This is an uplink which is basically just a spawn point so if I press E to that I can unbind myself which means that I won't spawn there anymore but I do actually want to spawn there. I can make it public or I can upgrade it and I'm not entirely sure what the upgrading system does yet in terms of spawn points. It might be more people can join the uplink. Uh, I'm not entirely sure though. The armory allows you to build weapons and ammo and this is where the special resources come in that I was talking about before. So for example to build a rotted wood club which I have at the moment I'll need eight fossil blocks which you get from special drops from fossils and wooden planks which you get from trees. And if you're not patient enough to wait for them all to drop you can go over here to the factory and you can make yourself some of those special things. So if you get ten wood you can then put it into a wooden plank. Same, you can make a fossil block out of 10 fossil and so on and so forth. So later it looks like you can build traps and vehicles, but they're not in the beta yet. And then your science station, last of all, allows you to build stims, which are basically your health stims and you make yourself invisible and speed stims so that you can sprint. And you can build yourself a locator too, so that it give yourself coordinates that you can hand on to friends that are on the same server as you and so they know where to find you. So the blueprints that I was talking about before that drop from enemies is what you use to unlock new things that you can build through these machines. So obviously you found the blueprint for the health stim and that's why I can build the health stim and same as the visit stim which makes you invisible so you just need to be patient and just kill some mobs and hopefully that you'll find one and of course there's the fire which all you need to do is add wood onto it and light it with this button here so there's a couple of other type of monsters that roam around this area and um, one of them is a vending machine which is this guy here and this is another type of mob they might come in contact with and he's basically the same as the vending machine so you can talk to these guys and he sells you pets and although I'm not rich enough to afford a pet at the moment it basically just boosts your character so after you've been fighting for a bit and uh, trying to level yourself up, you might be a bit hurt and there's a couple of ways to get health back. So one of the ways is that monsters drop health when they die. Another is you can get health from food and that's basically just keeping your health bar up and you'll just regenerate health over time. Another way is that if you have a health stim, which is basically a health pack, and you can press H to give yourself a health pack. But by far my favourite way of getting health back is to light your fire and dance around it. <laughs> this is actually a way to get health back, so all you need to do is build yourself a fire, put some wood in it, light it up, listen to some crazy tunes, press X to start dancing, and you'll just slowly regenerate health. And the more players that you have dancing around the fire at one time, the faster you'll get health back. So that's about it for now, guys. That's the basics of Grav. So go grab it. It's on Steam. It's on for sale at the moment. I'm thinking about for 13 bucks. Um, if there's anything else you want to know about the game, let me know. And I might be able to make a tutorial for it. So keep in mind, it's just an alpha at the moment, which means there's a lot more stuff they're going to add to it and a lot more details. And they're obviously going to fix a lot of the bugs and hopefully improve the frame rate. But it looks like it's going to be a really fun game. So let me know if there's anything you want to see in this game that I can show you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Video.